hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with a dope set of red nails so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this red color in the color dragon fire by la palm and i'm using my small nail art brush to draw the little line so i'm doing like a flame nail so once again i'm just using my small nail art brush and then i'm using my red gel polish by la palm Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with my foil glue and I'm applying this to her ring fingers and the way to know when this glue is dry is it will turn clear so when it turns to a clear finish that's how you know it's dry and then I'm going to go in with my dragon fire again and I'm doing bling on the pinky so this is my dragon fire by La Palm. Alrighty, so for the index finger, I'm going to be using my Pure White by La Palm, and it is the gel polish as well. And then for the thumb, I'm going to be using my same Dragon Fire by La Palm, and I'm going to be doing the flames as well. Alrighty, so once again I'm doing the flames on the thumb and I'm using my red gel polish in the color Dragonfire and my small nail art brush. So you kind of want to just make the little flames and then just fill in the rest of the nail. And I didn't really like how this one turned down so I am going to go back in and redo it. Alrighty, and the little cleanup brush that I'll be using is my Alpha brush and it's a... French brush and a number six and once again it is by Alpha so I will leave their link in my description. Alrighty, so we're going to do the same thing on the other hand. We're doing bling on the pinky. We're doing a decal, which will be the white base. We're doing one flame nail. The only difference will be on her thumb. We will be doing a full bandana nail. So instead of doing the flames, I'm just doing the nail with a full red background.
Okay, so we're gonna cure those for 30 seconds and as you can see the nail is clear So that means it's dry. So I'm just gonna dab this foil onto the nail and it is a red foil once again, we applied the glue and then we applied the foil once the nail was dry, which is when it was clear. So now I'm going to go in and draw the little bandana stuff. So once again, I'm still using my small nail art brush and I'm using my same pure white polish and it is a regular polish. And I'm just going to draw the little bandana stuff. Alrighty, so up next I'm going to be using some black regular nail polish and this is my black called Little Black Dress by La Pomme. But you can use any black regular polish and I'm just drawing like a little dot and just dragging the dot down. Alrighty, so for the thumb, I'm going to be using my nail art brush or my nail art paint by Broadway. And remember, you can find these at Dollar General. They're only a dollar. And I'm also going to be using my white one. And this was so much easier to use instead of using the smaller brush because you can make longer strokes. So I recommend you use the nail art paints for the bigger details and then just use the small nail art brush for the small stuff. So once again, I'm using my black and white nail art brushes or nail art paints by Broadway. Alrighty, so for the other hand, we're going to do the same thing. And I was looking at a picture. My client brought in a picture for inspiration. So that's what I was using as a guide.
Alrighty, so next up, I'm going to be applying some water decals. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the little decal. And they do have a little clear film on top of it. So make sure you take that off because if not, it will not work. Then you want to just dip it into water. And usually some of them come off pretty easily. But this one, I was having a little bit of a harder time. But um, you just want to dip it in there. And with your fingers, just kind of try to separate the decal from the actual paper. And you can use a pair of nippers to dip the, the decal into the water. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to place the decal onto the nail and as you can see you can just use your fingers to kind of place the decal onto the nail and then I'm just using my fingertips to kind of spread it out and they do kind of stretch a little you want to be careful not to stretch it a lot but you can kind of stretch it over the whole nail and then I'm just using my little um, brush with my acetone because it was polished on my nail so it kind of got on the white so same thing for this one and as you can see this one came off right away so same thing as you can see it fits right in the middle of the nail but i'm gonna stretch it out a little bit so what i'm doing is i'm just like rubbing the decal and it's just making it stretch Alrighty, so up next I'm going to be applying my bling. So I'm using my Mia Secret Gel Resin. I'm applying them with my wax pencil. And I'll be using just different size of the red bling as well as this bigger pieces. So once again I'm using my Mia Secret Gel Resin, my wax pencil, and my red bling. And I'm also going to be spraying them with the Mia Secret Gel Activator. So if you use the Mia Secret Gel Resin, you want to make sure that you buy the Gel Resin activator because that's what helps it dry faster i know at first when i first started using the mia secret gel resin it always took it a little bit longer for it to dry and then once i got the spray it just dries it instantly so you want to make sure you buy the spray with your actual resin Alrighty, so now I'm just going to be applying my gel top coat and for that I'm using my IBD gel top coat and I am going to come back and do two top coats on this foil nail and the decal as well and that decal it is hanging off a little bit off the nail so after I apply my first top coat I am going to come back and file that off so that's when I'm going to do my second top coat and then I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so same thing for the other hand. I'm applying my Mia Secret Gel Resin. I'm using my wax pencil to apply my bling. And then after this, I'm going to be spraying my Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator. And then I'm going to be applying a top coat. And we're going to let those cure for another 60 seconds. And we're going to come back and do a second coat on those two nails. The foil and the decal nail.
Alrighty, and this is when I come in and just file the sides of that decal just to make sure that nothing is hanging off because if not it will come off so then I'm just gonna apply a second coat and then we're gonna let that cure for another 60 seconds and we're gonna do the same thing on the other hand Alrighty y'all, so this is the final look. They turned out so pretty. Those decals, that bling is so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at GetNail32. And I'll see you guys in my next video.